President-elect Donald Trump reveals more of his picks showing who he wants to join his next administration. The new names include North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum to lead the Department of the Interior. That was officially announced today. Trump calling it a very big position. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. The Interior Secretary has wide influence over natural resources. In addition, Doug Burgum will sit on the National Security Council. And another decision made by Trump drew a strong rebuke from former Vice President Mike Pence. In Florida, with actor Sylvester Stallone in attendance, President-elect Donald Trump addresses the America First Policy Institute. And we're going to do things with energy and with land, interior, that is going to be incredible. And so I look forward to doing the formal announcement, although this is a pretty big announcement right now. Doug Burgum, the former Republican presidential primary contender, now tapped to serve as Secretary of the Interior. The wealthy software executive was a two-term Republican governor in a state where agriculture and oil are the main industries. Actually, he's going to head the Department of Interior, and he's going to be fantastic. But a much more controversial pick, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., to be Trump's health secretary. The anti-vaccine activist is a former Democrat who ran as an independent in this year's presidential race. House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries questions if RFK Jr. is the best that America has to offer. And the question that we have to all ask when we're confronted with nominations like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Are these the best individuals available to the incoming Trump administration? And former Vice President Mike Pence issued a statement opposing Kennedy's nomination, writing, if confirmed, RFK Jr. would be the most pro-abortion Republican appointed secretary of HHS in modern history. Pence urged lawmakers to give the American people a leader who will respect the sanctity of life as Secretary of Health and Human Services. This past spring, Kennedy told EWTN's Raymond Arroyo, every abortion is a tragedy and a trauma, but also said, No, I believe that it should be up to the mother. In that same interview, RFK Jr. told Arroyo that he wants to minimize the number of abortions that occur each year. He says one way to do that is to pay for daycare for new moms to ease the financial burden. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.